My little beans. Where we at? What are we doing? What's cranking wieners? We are back down south doing a little bit of southern fishing, a little warm water fishing. I love Maine. I had a lot of fun there. But it's time to crank her open on some largemouth bass. I'm actually with an old buddy right here, Chris. And we've decided to go to one of my favorite little honey holes. This is like the Hugo de Manzana. It is the juice. I'm pretty stoked about this. I, I enjoyed the trout fishing up in Maine. It was great. Love the northern vibes but it's cool to also send it back down here north. But I guess that leads me to a question that I wanna ask you guys is, what do you enjoy watching? Is it the southern videos or is it the northern videos? I've been blessed to have the opportunity to do both on this channel and I'm, I'm curious to hear your guys' input. But I'm also very curious to see if we can smash them today. It's a bit chilly, uh, but the fish should be munching. What's, do you have any aspirations or goals? I'd like to catch a lot of bass. You're just out here for numbers, right? I would like to catch a lot of bass. I want my thumb to be bleeding by the end of the day. <laughs> that I think is a goal we can probably <laughs> accomplish. I don't know if we can get any giant fish, but numbers is definitely something this place is known for. So stick with us, stay tuned and enjoy. Come on, noodles. Oh, let's go fishing, noodle. All right, we've got the boat, we've got the wiener. There's Chris. Yeah, I'm feeling like we're pretty much ready. Uh, one thing I do want to mention before we get active is that uh, I kind of have a goal for today. I want to make the most of it. I want to really try to capitalize on how good this lake actually is. So my goal for today is that we manage to catch, this is a big goal, and this may seem extreme, but I want to catch over 50 pounds of fish cumulative. Cumulative, like all together. That's the goal for today. We're gonna catch 50 pounds. And if we do catch 50 pounds of fish, that might be a new record for me. I don't think I've ever caught that much weight, or at least I've never weighed that much weight of bass before on a day of fishing. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty jazzed. Let's get after Let's catch some fish. We definitely have enough rods for sure. That's one thing we're not short on. And then of course, bait wise, we're strapped up with the MTB Carl's box, which is just loaded full of some goodies. There we have it. Lucky, if you're ready, I'm ready. We'll go get them. Let's do it. Here we go. Fifty pounds of bass. That is what we need to complete today's goal. We may only catch five pounds of fish today. I don't know. But <laughs> we're going to shoot for the stars on this one. Go for 50 pounds. And if we can do it, be absolutely legendary. So let's see what happens. All right, here it is. This is the scale that we're gonna use to weigh all of our fish today. All 50 pounds of fish today, hopefully. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep this right up front. The first lure that I'm gonna start off with is actually a new lure in the Guggen Squad Catch Co lineup. This is the Scout Junior. You guys know the Scout, it's a sweet jerk bait. What we did is we made a much smaller version. And this is perfect for shallower water when the fish are more fired up, a little bit higher in the water column. Also, in my opinion, this is like the perfect jerk bait for fishing creeks and rivers, any sort of moving water situation. This particular one right here, is in the famous ghost scale color. So I'm gonna tie this guy on. Uh, we do have some cold water temps today. What, what does it say back there, Chris? 45? Wow, it's, yeah, bring out the ice rods. It is chilly AF. 45 degree water temp is, that's cold. I mean, that's definitely some of the colder stuff I've definitely open water fished. Now I'm starting to regret maybe putting that 50, uh, 50 pound goal. <laughs> So, uh, might be the move. Yeah, lipless might be the move. This jerkbait also might put in some work. But if you guys want to pick some of these jerkbaits up, they're available right now on shopcarls.com. Click the link down below, get you some jerkbaits, and catch some fish. Easy as that. Look at all the little rattles in there, too. These things are absolutely units. There we go. I'm on. There we go. First fish of the day, baby. Ate it on the paws. Scout Jr. getting it done. Oh, my God, dude. Look how this fish ate it. Paper thin, man. Head first. Oh my God, he needed that meal. I feel bad. Okay, there we go, guys. First fish for the 50 pound club. Dude, that thing ate it head first. He He's also not very big, but I guess he'll probably go a pound. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep, there we go. We'll take that. Oh, he choked. There dude. we go. Chris has got a much bigger one than myself. Oh my God, that's a good one. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a lot bigger than I thought. There we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that. Okay, so first fish. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to put this guy back. We got to move quickly if we're going to get 50 pounds. There you go. First fish. Done. What is, why is this thing beeping? Three, six, one. On again. I got to write this down. There we go. There's Chris's fish. Almost a four pounder. 
This is unreal. <laughs> this is absolutely unreal. I'm gonna throw some. Oh, there's one. I watched him eat it. That was so crazy, bro. I have to make this quick, guys. I love talking about the fish I catch, but this is gonna be number three. One nine one. I'll take that. Got him. Got him. Oh my god. That was so smoked. gnarly. Dude, you're getting some good ones. <laughs> there you Dude, go. That fish ate it so hard. There he goes. Fish number four of the day. 205. Can I have a score tracker update? Score tracker update. <laughs> 205. There goes Chris Iotis from Northern Illinois. Getting them done. Hey, it's number is that five? I don't know. I think so. Five. Whopping 1.25. Lucky girl. We're getting close. Not really, but we're trying. Noodle. Oh wow, that's a knock slack in my line as well. Wow, whopping 0.68. Jimmy, what were you thinking? Oh my god, that's gonna fairly hook. Oh yes. Clutch fish strikes again. 264. There's Chris. Another one, fish landing violation, hit the carpet. Are you serious? It didn't even touch the net. Come touch on, the net. seriously? <laughs> it weighs one pound, four, three. There's another one. Getting them done. That's a nice one there. What's this behemoth weigh? Official ruling says 101. One pound, one wow, what a donk. Another one. Okay, I guess we're weighing this guy. All right, here we go. I think it's illegal to, to let fish this small touch at any scale. Oh, there we go. Chris is actually hooked to a good one. How about 0.59? <laughs> Get him in here. Oh, mine was 159. One, Yours is, we're gonna call 146. You actually caught a smaller fish than me, I'm surprised. <laughs> five, nine. This might be something different here. This might be something completely different. How do you go from a 146 to something as big and bodacious as that? Right, got his ass, right. hell yeah. <laughs> we got 268. 268, Beautiful. consecutive cast. Beautiful, let's do this boys. We're making some, we're making some money over here, boy. Another fish, uh, 142. Oh wow, this one's got some gut. That one might go, one might go close to four. Oh, look how this guy's hooked. Look how scary this is. Oh yeah, three, four, one. Two. Let's go, baby. That's a high three. Oh my God. That's when the clutch comes into play. They just choke in it. Three, three, seven. Back she goes. <sighs> now, I couldn't tell you what number of fish this is, but we're gonna weigh it. Two, two, two. That's easy to remember. You. Almost makes me wonder if like the big ones are down below and these guys are just swooping in. Oh my God! That was like a fucking four powder. Did you see that? No, no. Holy he shit. He <laughs> ate it right of the boat and just broke me off. Oh my God, that was fucking intense, dude. <laughs> dude, I literally lift up and my, rot my lure is gone. That was insane, dude. <laughs> Jesus, I just pooped myself, gang. I gotta go find another crankbait. What in the nut? Well, itty bitty fish weighs in at 1.8. Two fish for 2.71. 213. 326. Two. 105. 73. A one and a two. Put her there. 198. 416. Oh, there we go. 297, I guess. 308. Disgusting. Loaded. This is ridiculous. 317. I must say, today has gone a lot better than I had anticipated. 50 pounds almost seems kind of like, uh, I don't know, a stepping stone to what we're actually working with here. Uh, I don't want to sound too cocky because I haven't added up the actual weight yet, but we have caught like probably a dozen three pounders. A lot of our fish there are coming on just about anything, but particularly these baits that you see right here. Like I said, if you guys want to get these baits, simple and easy, check down below in the description and uh, get them at shopcarls.com. They're a huge sponsor and partner of us and they carry some really cool gear. So we're, we're idling to the next zone. I'm sipping on a monster, not really my drink of choice, but uh, the coffee just wasn't doing it for me today. Holy moly, that hits hard. But yeah, it seems like a lot of these fish are pretty active despite how cold it is. The water tip right now is 46.9 and they're still munching. First of all, let me count off how many fish we've caught. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 33, eight, nine, 34, 35, 36, 39 bass today, bro. And we didn't weigh like a few of the little ones too. So roughly, I would have to estimate our day going about 45 fish. Lucky, what you think? What you think, Noodle? What you think about it? You stoked? Ooh, you like that, don't you? Check that out. Bro, look at that thumbs. 
that was his goal for today is to get a bloody thumb. I think one more giant and that thing's gonna be shredded. One six five. Look at that one plate, dude. Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, and just like that, Chris is hooked up. What's this one? It could be large, could be small. I don't know. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh, oh my well. god. That's a good one. That's the biggest one of the day. Oh my oh god, dude. Boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Take it easy, Chris, dude. It's gray. That's an old fish. Look how gray it is. Oh. Let's go, baby. Yes. I think that one's got that one's got to be over five pounds. You think so? I do, dude. That, it's I'm, dummy I'm chick, bro. I, I don't even think it touches five. I'm gonna be okay, honest. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's a four pounder. Okay. Nice. That wasn't too far off. Mm -hmm. Four nine one. That's a beaut. You gonna pick? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick with this one. That's a dope fish, dude. Look how different that color is. Right. That thing is it's... like gray. That is a trippy fish, bro. Just shy of five. I thought it was at least five. Woo Put it there, dog. That is gonna help yeah. us. We done dropped it. Nice to have it. Shot. Yeah, that's a two nine one. Yeah, she'd be three nine two. Well, there's another one. That's our fortieth fish going in at two pounds. At two two point thirty one pounds. Whee. So as you guys can tell, I'm, I'm blowing through a lot of these catches and not showing every single one. It would be quite impossible to put every single bite in the video, but I just kind of want to give you an idea by speeding through each fish we're catching to prove to you that we're absolutely slaughtering them out here. Absolutely nuts, man. Just poop. Seven foot six, eight. 116, 217. No, I'm just... Do a jump for us, please. Bye-bye. 154. Bro. They are swallowing it. 297. 297? Good to go. Woo-wee! She is blowing out here. We were gonna give it a few more hours, maybe a few more minutes, but it's nasty, dude. It turned into a turned into the Atlantic Ocean on here. I don't know what has gotten into North Texas, but it's been so windy these past few days. We're peacing out, we're signing out, which is totally okay because we, in my opinion, wrecked house. But we still have to add up the weight. I have a good feeling we surpassed 50, but I'm really curious to see how much total weight we caught for today's fishing session. I almost wonder if we got close to, I don't know, 80, 90 pounds. What'd you think, bro? Dude, I had a great time out there. That was freaking sweet. Washed them. Okay, moment of truth. I gotta go find my phone and let you guys know how many fish exactly we caught, or I guess I should say how heavy our total count was. I've never done anything like this. I've never actually kept track of every single one that I catch and then weighed them. Um, where the hell is my phone at? Bro, where my phone at? This is gonna take a second. That's it. That's the last one. Wow. wow. I honestly, what did you guess when we first came out? Like, when we first came out, you're like, what'd you think we were gonna catch? Like, when total. we first came to this lake? Yeah, when you were like, we saw it. I knew we'd break 50 just by how confident you were, but That's... 100 pounds of fish is a lot of Check fish. That. Can you guys see this? Yeah, this is real life. That is the total weight. Not to mention all the fish we threw back. Yeah, we also, admittedly, and this sounds crazy, sounds like we're super cocky, but we didn't even weigh all of our fish. We weighed mostly everything big. We stopped weighing anything that looked like it was under a pound. We probably had over 100 pounds of fish. I think total we had somewhere around 60. So our average is pretty good. Probably about two pounds, a little over. Pretty legendary, huge shout out to this guy. For coming out, unfortunately, it's his last day. He's heading back up north to Illinois. Pray for you, son. Not good. This is just an excuse <laughs> now for you to have a reason to move down to Texas. Absolutely. Lucky. That's a wrap for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I think this might be my only Texas video for, I think the month of January. I think I might have posted two, but I'm going to actually be going on a Florida trip here in a little bit. And then I'm going to head back to Maine. And then I go on my first international trip of the year. I said I wasn't going to do it because they require so much work and they cost so much, but I just love to travel. I love to experience new fisheries, especially when they're halfway across the country, or I guess the globe for this matter. This is a crazy send, but uh, just stick with that one. Uh, it's going to be a very epic video. Be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and be sure to share it too if you got a kick out of it as well. Lucky would uh, greatly appreciate that. But we're going to get back in the whip, head on home. Thank you so much for the view. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Whew.